Good morning, everybody. I'm so sorry. This is such a weird angle. So here I was yesterday praying first thing in the morning in Olivia's room saying, um, I don't, you know, if I don't drive somewhere, um, I have to really discipline myself to stop, record and pray. You know, the gardener was going on in the background yesterday, Monday, The Kitty was uh, trying to distract me. My own thoughts distract me. Mondays are just so busy. And today here I am in the car, but it's perfect. Um, I'm so blessed and thankful to the Lord for his goodness. Uh, thank you, thank you, praying friends for praying for Isaac. I can't, I haven't counted the days, but I would say from about um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, about, I a, a guesstimate, Isaac's behaviors have been phenomenal. He hasn't been pulling my hair. He hasn't been biting Chuck. He hasn't been melting down. Um, the same way going straight to aggression as he had been the Lord has really helped him to turn the page and today's October 1 and we turned the page on the calendar right another month and so thank you for your prayers I can feel them I can sense them I can see them yesterday before Isaac went to school I was nervous because it's you know that Monday morning mal down on mom time where he's just not feeling it he doesn't you know he likes school but it's the getting ready and it's kind of like i i sense that he thinks i'm fussing over him but i'm not i'm just trying to get him dressed and for 17 years it wasn't a problem and suddenly now it's a problem but anyway yesterday he got dressed no problem i shaved him no problem put his socks and shoes on no problem and i'm like lord i i just couldn't stop thanking god just for those little things you guys and then uh, you know, we have a couple minutes. Like, he's dressed by 8, and they usually come around 8.50. So he has time to just kind of relax, play on his iPad, you know, play, do what he does before they come and pick him up. And so he's doing his thing, and I, and then they, the, the school route van driver comes, and I look at him, and he's playing Jesus Loves Me on, on the app on his iPad. And even that, I said, is an answer to prayer, because I want the name of Jesus to be what Isaac hears every day. I don't understand fully what he knows or understands, but I want him to know that God loves him and Jesus loves him and we love him. That that's it's like if I could summarize my parenting, that's what I want Isaac to know. I mean, obviously he has to do all the things. He has to go to school, he has to get dressed, he has to, you know, take his medicine. There's things that Isaac has to do. There's things we all have to do, but I want him to know that Jesus loves him and we love him and that's 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 it so even this morning I got a little nervous because he acted a little strange when he got in the van I thought okay here we go I'm ready for the meltdown and he didn't so praise the Lord thank you God Almighty yesterday I felt really bad because I had forgot to pray for the Florida circumstance and the Carolinas and Virginia and the neighboring states. I don't know all the states. I'm terrible with geography, but you all know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to call the states that were affected by the hurricane Helene. And I did pray after we prayed together. I prayed on my own for that, but I want us to lift that up to the Lord. And just again, my heart has been so heavy for prodigals, you guys. I just, I really feel that we're in the days of Noah. And Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They'll be getting married. They'll be buying, selling. They'll be doing business as usual, so to speak. And then, you know, the ark closed and the rain came down and the people that were not in the ark died by drowning what a horrific way to die and they had all of those years of warning by noah and so may we be those lights you know you might not realize it but people are listening when you pray over your meal they're listening when you or you know they're reading if you post something on social media or even at the store like for me i try my best when somebody says how are you i say i'm blessed because everybody says I'm good or I'm okay or I'm fine. But I try to say I'm blessed. And every once in a while, a believer will say, amen, me too. You know, what fellowship do you go to? And it just opens the door for our conversation. But my point is that the world is dying. It's decaying fast. You know, like that moldy orange. It's it's just turning blue and green and, and, and it's decaying. And it, it it's, it, it's time 
friends. So we need to pray and press into the Lord for our prodigals. Um, I don't always remember everybody's names, but please, please, when we pray for prodigals in your heart, pray for that person that you're thinking of. And also there's praises. There's so many breakthroughs. There's so many beautiful things that God is doing. People that have been saved, people that have rededicated their hearts to the Lord, people that say, I don't want to do drugs and alcohol. I want to go to rehab. Uh, marriages that were on the brink of destruction that God is healing. Uh, people that were very ill and the Lord has turned it around for them. You know, this morning or last night, I said, God, you've done it. You've done a breakthrough because every day for quite a while, Isaac was melting down. And these last few days have been just refreshing and just so encouraging to my soul and so we see that around us you guys you know we see the miracles we see God working and moving and so let's continue to pray and praise and press into the Lord let's go before him father in heaven thank you for being our father in heaven thank you for the privilege of prayer thank you that we get to come to you morning noon and night as it says in lamentations um, his mercies faileth not they're new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Al Emunah, you are the faithful one, faithful God. You're Al Olam, everlasting God. You could judge us. You could have, you know, um, destroyed us in, a, in an instant like you did many times in the Old Testament. I think of that, um, that, I think his name was Uzzah, that man that tried to steady the ark with his hand. And you said, no, carry the ark with poles because it's holy. And he touched the ark to steady it because it was going to fall down. You can steady your own. You can do what is best. And you said, don't touch it. And he died on the spot. You could judge us on the spot if we have a sinful thought or a sinful behavior. But you're so merciful to us, God. You're slow to anger. You're a compassionate God. You're faithful. You're wonderful, loving, kind, benevolent. You give us as we do not deserve. Al Roy, the God who sees you are. Comforter, you are. Holy One of Israel, you are. The God of Jacob, you are. You are the Ancient of Days. You are the just judge. You are angry at the wicked every day, but your ears are open to the prayers of the righteous. Your ears are open to the needy, to the desperate. And that's us, God. We are the needy and desperate that the Psalmist David wrote about. You said that you are the way, the truth, and the life. You said that you are holy. You said, be holy for I am holy. You said, my worshipers should worship me in spirit and in truth. You are God, truth. You said that you are wisdom. You said you're the word that became flesh and dwelt among us. You're the bread of life, the living water. We never thirst. We're not thirsty anymore, Jesus. You give us a perpetual spring. We wake up, we say, give us, give me your word or I will die. I need your daily bread. I need your manna. I need your water from the rock. God, you are the rock. You are our refuge. You are our fortress. You are our high tower. You are our hiding place. You are our safe place. He who dwells in the secret place of the most high will abide under the shadow of the almighty. Lord, put your shadow over us. Comfort us. The days are hot and dry and arid and we get thirsty from walking in this this land lord that's evil and depraved and we say like isaiah woe is me i am undone i'm a man of unclean lips and i dwell amongst the people of unclean lips women that demand abortions god that's the land that we live in people that say i want to be a man and so i'm going to cut off my breasts and i'm going to change my body and i'm going to inject hormones so i i born a woman can look like a man i just disgrace the name of jesus i don't care how he made me i'm going to change how i made me we live in a day and age where children are afraid to go to school because of gun violence. We live in a day and age where marriages are failing left and right. We live in a day and age where the people call good evil and they call evil good. But thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. This is not our resting place. This is not the place of refuge. This is just a place we're passing through God. Like you told me years ago in COVID, this is a KOA. This is a campground. Our heavenly home is with you like you said in John's gospel Jesus I go to prepare a place for you in my father's house are many mansions if I were not so I would have told you and if I go away it is good because where I am there you will be also Jesus draws to yourself forgive us of our sins 
cleanses and washes by your blood. Cast us not away from your presence, O Lord, and take not your Holy Spirit from us. Cleanse us, God. We need your cleansing flow every single day, God. We could just open our computer for five seconds and we see things that are inappropriate. We're trying to watch something wholesome on TV and a commercial comes that's inappropriate. We're trying to drive to go to a prayer meeting or to go to a church and the billboard is inappropriate or the person's bumper sticker is inappropriate. Lord, the enemy is trying to throw fiery darts on us, but we know what to do. Our eyes are on you. We know what to do. We praise the name of Yeshua. Yahweh is God. Jesus is the Lord. We praise you. But we need forgiveness. Cleanse us from pride, selfishness, stubbornness, worry, anxiety, ugly thoughts, depression, despair. All of it, Lord, has come upon our lives at one point or another. Are worried about our health, worried about our, our finances, worried about how we look and we're aging and, and our aches and pains and just worrying about things that don't matter. Some things matter, Lord, paying our bills matter, but we need not focus on that. We focus on you, Jehovah Jireh, our provider, your our provision, you're our inheritance. If you provided that um, bread and water for Elijah, you're going to provide for us too. We trust you, God. You're the one that multiplies the bread and the loaves, uh, the bread and the fish, and you're going to multiply and supply our daily needs as well, God. And we ask that you would bless and keep each and every person praying with me right now. If there's a financial need, Need, would you supply it if there's a spiritual need would you give it to them right now oh lord god almighty if it's an emotional breakdown would you bring courage and restoration and wisdom on how to handle it lord if it's an anger problem would they repent and come to you lord the one that you don't get angry at us how dare we get angry at others god if it's a, a another type of problem whatever problem is weighing on those praying with me god would you take that burden from them and may they cast it upon you because you care for us Lord if it's a comfort that is needed would you just put that blanket that Holy Spirit blanket and comfort around those praying with me right now God and comfort me Father, I just thinking about the future Isaac will be 17 in January it's it, it, it's distressful it's worrisome how are we going to take care of this young man what what's it gonna look like and I could get bogged down in 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 the details of it all but God you are a God of the details you are the one that created the butterfly the ladybug the the whale the mountains the 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 great caverns the Grand Canyon the ocean Hawaii you create a little baby to be born with eyelashes and fingernails and all the organs intact and the brain to think and the heart to beat and the oxygen that pumps through our body that you created trees so we could breathe in the good oxygen and breathe out the the toxins or you created us and the world beautifully this is my father's world and in that god we don't have to worry about the details our future is in your hands so help each one of us to be anxious for nothing but in everything with prayer and supplication and thanksgiving that our requests we be made known to you lord and the peace of god which surpasses all human understanding will guard our hearts, will guard our minds in Christ Jesus. Father, we do pray for those affected by this terrible Hurricane Helene in Florida, in the Carolinas, and the other neighboring states. Father, houses have been devastated. People have died. People are waiting on the government to provide relief. The local um, authorities, the state authorities, they don't have enough resources. Lord, may we band together, bring in uh, Samaritan's Purse and um, Salvation Army and Federal Relief and and all of the may we link arms together to help our brothers and sisters that have been devastated father houses that are completely underwater father people that don't have access to food or water or medicine or shelter or even dry clothes people that are just so struck with grief by the loss of it all god especially florida it's been hit so many times Please, God Almighty, raise up Christians, Father. I just think back again and again to 9-11 and how you, Lord, brought so many beautiful believers to pray and to fast and to give and to go in to these places and help. Father, thinking about what happened in Hawaii and how people would go and fly out there and help. So raise up an army of godly people, prayer warriors, helping hands, people that would go in the trenches and love on these people that are hurting in this, um, those affected by this Hurricane Helene. God, please, Jesus, we know that when these devastations and these tragedies happen, that we should look up because we are just one minute away from some kind of destruction, some kind of tragedy, whether it's a phone call or a 3 a.m. you know accident or 
you know, an earthquake, a fire, a hurricane. We're fragile, Lord. And these moments remind us how fragile we are. How our homes, Lord, they're not going to last forever. Our bodies are not going to last forever. So, Father, I pray for these states. And, Lord, it's an election year. 35, I believe, days left until our Americans vote. And so, please, please, Jesus, would you help people to not be apathetic, to not be lazy, to vote, to vote biblical values. I pray that people would even change their minds, that they would vote have in their mind they're going to vote one way and that you holy spirit would lead them to truth and that would vote for righteousness they would vote for what you stand for god life and freedoms and just not nonsense lord please god protect our nation from nonsense from foolishness from self uh motive selfish mo motives and lining these politicians that have been doing this for years just to line their pockets and they don't worship you like the Bible says they're hirelings. They don't really care about people. They care about their own personal agendas. Do not let people like this be elected, God. Thwart the enemy's plans against America, Lord. Forgive our sins. Heal our land. And I pray for all of those in Israel, God. I pray for the peace of Israel. I pray for healing over Israel, Lord. It is your blessed, beloved nation. You have a plan for Israel. It's all over scripture, Lord. We know you're coming soon, Jesus. And we pray for healing. We pray for revival, redemption, and we pray for the prodigals to be saved in these last days father you know the names god there's so many my nieces my relatives friends family those that used to go to bible study those that used to go to the house of the lord but not anymore now they choose the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the pride of life save now hosanna in the highest god we pray for the church that we would stand strong on our knees and we would worship you and we would stand for truth and that we would not be silent but we would be bold when you want us to be bold, they'll be silent when you want us to be silent. We lift up all of these prayers. Anything that we've prayed or thought or felt that is not of you, just cancel it out, Lord, like a whiteboard eraser. Cancel 